Yo, what up, what up, what up, y'all? It's your boy Kareem Supreme. Check this out. 40 years of Michael Jackson thriller. Check it out, y'all. 40 years, baby. 40 years of Michael Jackson thriller. It came out on this day back in 1982. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. The biggest, the world's biggest selling album of all time. Check it out, y'all. Uh-huh. Yeah. I remember this was big for years, man. This album was released November of 1982. And people were still jamming to it in like 85, 86. I'm telling you, this album, man, this album just made its way back to the Billboard charts after, I want to say, what, 20-something years? It stayed on the charts for years. The world's biggest selling album of all time. I think it went like, what, five times di five times Diamond? Five times diamond. So that's like, what, 50 million? Yes, yes, yes. This is the biggest selling album of all time. Rest in peace to my boy, Michael Jackson. This was my childhood. Despite what they said he did in his personal life, you can't deny his musical talent. He's a musical genius. <clears throat> yes, sir. I mean, every song on this album was a hit, man. It's like... Hold on, let me hold on, let me see something. It's like every track. Hold on a minute, y'all. Bear with me one second. Bear with me one second. See, back in the days, you used to get a lyric sheet with the album. I miss albums. Does anybody else miss albums? Check this out. Here go the songs. Want to be starting something, baby be mine, the girl is mine with Paul McCartney. Paul McCartney from the Beatles, Thriller, Beat It, Billy Jean, Tell Him That Is Human Nature, PYT. Oh, man. For every one of these songs, he had a video for. Everyone except for The Lady in My Life. Every nine, out, when, when you got eight out of nine songs, you only got nine, he only had nine songs on this album. Eight out of nine songs was a single. Damn near the whole album was a, had a single in a video. Well, I don't know about Want to Be Starting Something. I know that was a single. The Girl Is My... Man, this album kicked... I can't curse. I can't curse. I'm tired of cursing. But this album kicked, kicked behind. If y'all ain't got this album in y'all collection, y'all crazy. I remember I used to scratch. I used to cut up... Uh, Billie Jean. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Straight classic. Straight classic. Look at the artwork on this album. This is this is this is a real vinyl. This is the record. This is a real record. If I throw it on my turntable right now, it'll play. This is not no no janky design or no copycat no copycat album. This is the real album. I forgot who did the artwork, but I had this for about 15 years, about 14, 15 years. This is a classic. I'm holding on to this for dear life. Oh, yeah. They got the 40th anniversary of Thriller out now. You can get it online. I forgot how much they said they wanted for it. Probably about 40 bucks. Who knows? But, um, yeah. Check it out, y'all. Michael Jackson Thriller. I remember um, I used to be scared of Thriller, the video, when I was about four, three or four years old. I was terrified. <laughs> but uh, Michael Jackson kicked ass with this. Oh, I wasn't supposed to curse. Yeah, y'all. This, is, this, is this was a big album in the 80s. Every time I turned on the radio, it was playing. Every time I turned on the radio, one of Michael Jackson's songs was playing. Michael Jackson defined the 80s. As far as like pop music, I mean, everybody liked them. Blacks, whites, Indians, Mexicans, um, Africans, you name it. He was big all over the world. He was huge. Yes, yes. Off the Wall, the album that came out before this, Off the Walls, that was huge. But psh, nothing like Thriller. 
My favorite song on this album was um, Human Nature and Pretty Young Thing. PYT, Pretty Young Thing. I Need Some Love and TLC, 10, 11, Care. Oh, yeah. Michael Jackson got plenty of play in my house growing up. Every time you turn on the radio, it was on. It seemed like 104 WDKX played Want to Be Starting Something all the time. Want to be starting something. You got to be starting something. I said, you want to be stuck. Y'all get the picture. Yes, sir. Look at it. Look at look at them. Look at them old ugly things. I used to be scared. I used to be scared to death of these these zombies. And that thriller video was directed by uh, John Landis. John Landis directed the Blues Brothers movies. He also directed this movie called um, The American Werewolf in London. Uh, me and my brother used to watch that, and we used to we used to laugh. We used to watch it over and over and over and over. We used, to, we used to be dying laughing. That was a scary, funny movie. But uh, yeah, John Landis, he um, he directed the Thriller video, and um, and uh, it's a classic. That's back when videos was like twenty minutes long. They were like mini movies, <laughs> and they and they were very entertaining. That's the thing. They don't make they don't make entertaining videos, man. You got to fast forward just to get to the music nowadays. I mean, damn. But yeah, y'all, I'm just reminiscing on this Michael Jackson Thriller uh, album. It just turned 40. And, uh, you know, just takes me back to my childhood, man. I had an awesome child childhood, man. It, back when everything was good, man, times were simpler. You know, wasn't a lot of whole, it wasn't a whole lot of violence, you know. It wasn't, it was laid back. Everybody was cool. Family was more together, you know. There was more more of a camaraderie in the black community, you know. Now everybody distant, you know. Everybody be talking about each other, and you know, I mean, they was doing it back then, but you know, we had a sense of pride, we had a sense of respect, you know. And it seemed like Michael Jackson's music was the soundtrack to that time, you know. Just having fun with friends and family. You know, while human nature is playing in the background. Da, 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 da. I remember now I sampled that on It Ain't Hard to Tell. Da, 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 da. Cause a rapper had never sampled I had never heard a rapper rap over any of Michael Jackson's music. You know, I mean, yeah, Naughty by Nature rapped over to Jackson Five, but you know, not, nobody had ever rapped over Michael Jackson's solo songs. You know. Nas did it. He rapped over human nature on It Ain't Hard to Tell. It ain't hard to tell. I excel and prevail. The mic is contracted. I attract clientele. But yeah, y'all, don't let me don't let me talk your ear off, man. Go get this. Go get go get the 40th edition. The 40th anniversary edition of this album. Or CD. Let me know what y'all think in the comment section. Peace.